What's up guys, I'm Ace Trainer Eric and I'm here bringing you our little week 3 recap. It was a really good battle between me and Undead Crisis up here, aka Julian, aka Captain of the Magic City Mudkips. Magic City on a Monday. Monday. Shout out to Drake. Alright, so let's get into this battle. So, that is loud. That was super loud, so we're going to turn that off. So I come in, I U-turn with the Landorus, I bring out the Togetic, he stealth rocks like I predicted. So I come out here, he rock polishes, I'm just going to dazzling gleam this thing and hope for the best at this point. He giga drains me, it does like nothing. So I get a crit, because like I said, my luck in Pokemon is amazing. So after this, I said, okay, I need to get a defog off, I don't know if I can live this. That looked like choice specs damage because I'm full special defense and Eevee light. So then I come out to this thing knowing that he's going to switch. He brings out the Darmanitan. I come in. I close combat him. He gets half. I switch out. Get, get an attack drop. And an immunity to Earthquake. I honestly thought he was just going to flare blitz, but whatever. So I come in here. Superpower the Vespa Queen. And I say, fuck it. I say, fuck it. He's quad weak. I'm rock sliding anyway. So I rock slide the thing, it lives, he toxics me, and it just gets annoying from here because I don't know what to do toxic. So I rock slide again, I'm going to switch out here because I don't want to be dealing with this. So I go right into the dust noir, what I said I needed to do when the Snorlax came out. So yeah, I was pretty sure he was a sleep talk rest curse return set. So then I power up punch because I needed the boost, right? This thing's packing Earthquake to do damage. So I eat up a Dragon Pulse like, <laughs> like that. And then I Earthquake him and he goes down. So get some leftovers recovery. The Aurorus comes in. I switch out. It's just an epic battle. He hyper voice me. He gets a crit resisted move. I'm just a little bit above half. I Earthquake the Snorlax. And here's where the battle gets interesting because at this point it's just like fuck with you plays. You know what I mean? By both of us. I give him the Intimidate, he brings in a rest, knowing that I was going to switch out, and now I'm on a timer, so I superpower him. I did not think I was going to do that much damage to the Snorlax, so he does an Earthquake thinking he was faster or something, I don't know, but I'm I'm U-turning out, or I don't know what he was doing for that Earthquake, honestly, but Muse out here, late game South Rocks, always good, especially since two of his Pokemon are weak to Rocks. Shows right there, the Vespa Queen comes out. The Darmanitan, the Darmanchin, gets knocked off and dies. And then all that's left is the Aurorus, and I have five Pokemon. So I'm feeling pretty confident. I just go for the knockoff, see what he was holding. Choice specs. So my prediction was right. He kills the Mew. Then I go out into the Arcanine, because look at how good of a boy he is. Who's a good boy, Arcanine? Arcanine's a good boy. That closes it out. Your Sunset Lake Sceptiles are 3 and 0 want to keep this undefeated streak going so next week when we go against the KMS Kakunas we want that last win so we go undefeated into the finals so let's go let's get it i'm going to get out of here and get out of your hair